Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here in the rain at Amman in Italy. But rain won't stop me talking about the important subject of hydrogen, folks. And I'm here to show off the new, brand new, global first hydrogen burner here. And I've got Matteo, who actually is the expert here at Amman, joining me to explain what this is all about. Matteo, a really big launch for Amman, but really, really important to see us moving forward with hydrogen, isn't it? Tell me a little bit what we got here. Yeah, exactly. So here is the new burner that we currently have developed in the last few months. Yeah. Uh, basically, it is run by 100% power of hydrogen. Uh, this is a special version of our, our burner. The main advantages of having hydrogen as a main fuel is to reduce emissions of CO2. Yeah. So we don't have uh, carbon emissions, we only have water with this type of, of burner. And fantastic to hear this is coming into asphalt plants, heavy users of energy, folks, for obvious reasons. But come around here, let's see a little bit more about what is involved in this product. So the all important part of this, folks, is right here. This is where the hydrogen comes in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is the inlet of uh, our hydrogen. And basically, uh, we have uh, uh, specific tanks to store the hydrogen, yeah. and it is injected directly inside the burner from this, uh, from this inlet here. Inside the burner, we have uh, all the other components, such as the swirl, the nozzle, and everything, yeah. in order to generate the flame and to push the flame uh, more forward uh, near the outlet, let me say. So all of the clever burning stuff is in there. Yeah, so, exactly. However, folks, these flames are huge in some circumstances, aren't they? And uh, it needs a fan, folks, to actually do that. But it needs a fan which is a bit quieter than a normal fan, isn't it? Because this, this bit is the silencer and the fan's behind us. Tell us about why it's important to have such a fan and silencer package there. Yeah, so this is the silencer of, of the fan. Uh, as, as you think, uh, uh, these type of burners are really noisy. Yep. So yep. in order to be powered up and also the asphalt plants is, is really noisy. So uh, we mount this type of silencer in order to reduce the noise and reduce the noise of the general asphalt plant. And folks, we're talking about sustainability here because we're talking about hydrogen, but we're also talking about, you know, how this sort of burner is controlled. Control systems are in here. But as you come round here, folks, follow me round here. Another important part of the whole power that you're using and being more sustainable is the electric power source we've got here yeah. and that, that runs the actual fan as well. Tell me about this. Yeah, exactly. So this is the electric drive uh, which runs the, the, the fan. Uh, there is a frequency converter in order to uh, reduce and adjust the rotation of the drive. Yep. Uh, this is the sensor which is mounted inside in order to capture the RPM of the, of the drive yep. and reduce and adjust the velocity of the drive itself. So that's really important when we talk about having full power from the burner, but also then regulated power as, as the plant is operating. And so we, again, we're saving energy we are throughout saving that energy process, with this aren't technology. we? Yeah, sure. So folks, you know, it's really good to see that. But there's some other things that have been happening. Come over here with me for a while um, with Aman. And I didn't realize this space. What about using waste products to actually <laughs> power the burners? This is a slightly different product here. One of the things we've had for many years now, yeah. they use wood dust, folks, to burn. And that's a byproduct. That's, again, way more sustainable than, than using sort of like a, a, a more diesel type or oil type approach, isn't it? Yes, correct, correct, Peter. So basically, uh, this is our MIBZ burner. Yep. Uh, it is specifically designed to, to be powered up by wood dust. And as you can see from the uh, inside, yeah. we have this concrete cone, uh, which is um, protect the metal parts and avoid the metal parts to be deformed by the high temperature of the wood dust flame. Right, okay, so literally thinking about all the different impacts of burning different fuels. But Matteo, come over here. The big news, folks, is Hydrogen is here now for asphalt plants. And the one thing that I was really excited about is this product is not just for your asphalt plants, is it? It can be retrofitted to everybody else's, can't it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this, this type of technology can be mounted in, in each type of industry. So we've got 
Aman leading the way here with the hydrogen burner, but we've got the ability to retrofit this technology. We can even burn wood dust if we choose to. But what's great about this is even in the rain, folks, in Italy, which was totally unexpected, I've met the genius team here at Aman who are taking us on the hydrogen journey that is going to be helping us on the road to net zero. And not only that, folks, it's a burner for asphalt and asphalt's used in the road to net zero. So we've got them both covered, haven't we? Cheers. Thank you.